So one of the biggest changes on the iPhone with iOS 16 has got to be the lock screen. The lock screen is now entirely different, right? You can now customize things like the clock. You can change the font, even apply different colors. This text up top here for the date, you can change that to the weather or anything else that you would like to see here. You also have widgets, something new to the lock screen in iOS 16. However, with iOS 16.1, Apple has added additional features, in my opinion, that take the lock screen to the next level. And that's what I wanted to talk about in this video so let's just dive right into this one and now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first thing i would like to talk about is the ability to now have live activities on the lock screen right so on the lock screen now we have the ability to actually bring things like applications to the lock screen so if you want apps maybe a doc here on the lock screen you can do that you can launch things like twitter you can see right there directly from the lock screen i can launch safari or even music if i wanted to depending on the application that you have you can actually implement anything basically to the lock screen even weather so if i go to this weather application here for example and i just go ahead and want to add a, this particular weather widget I can go into the settings of this app go to the live activity enable it choose which one I want and I should have that live activity on the lock screen so live activities bring the lock screen to the next level right this was not possible before with 16.0 after 16.1 Apple took the lock screen to the next level with live activities now the next thing I would like to talk about is the always on display on the iPhone and now when Apple first launched the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max the always on display would look like this right you would go into sleep mode you can still see the wallpaper but there it is that was the lock screen when we first started now with the latest update if we go into settings and we go to display in brightness go under the always on display options we have two additional options here we can go ahead of course as always turn off the always on display if we want it but now we can actually remove that wallpaper from the background and when we go into the always on display we only have highlighted any live activity and any notification that we have and the clock the date or whatever it is that you choose to place on the top now you can also go ahead and remove notifications from the lock screen as well when you put it onto sleep mode and notifications will not show if you choose this option so two additional options for the lock screen on always on display that i think bring the lock screen to the next level now one more thing that i wanted to talk about is the ability to now unlock your iphone without having to wake it up so let me go into accessibilities here go into touch and right now we have a new option called tap or swipe to wake this option right here this allows you to actually just simply swipe on the lock screen without Without having to tap it first and just unlock your device very simple as you can see right there so right here it is before we would have to tap wake up the iPhone and then swipe it away it just takes less time to just look at it even if it's in sleep mode and swipe it away and just like so and this also works with the new options under brightness for always on display so if we go to the always on display options here and we turn these options off for the wallpaper and we have the entirely blacked out lock screen we can always swipe just like so we don't have to wake up the iPhone Phone is a lot easier a lot faster and saves time as well so we don't have to tap anymore we can just go ahead and leave it locked just simply swipe face ID and boom we're unlocked and we're inside the iPhone so these new options in my opinion are bigger changes and bigger updates to the lock screen right after the release of iOS 16 live activities just brings it to the next level where you can track things that are happening in real time and even adding apps and shortcuts to the lock screen Apple has really gone all out this year hopefully we'll continue seeing additional options and changes like maybe the option to customize these shortcuts on the bottom of the screen which i would like to see right so hopefully more changes will be coming soon but as of right now these are some of the latest new changes to the lock screen what i like to call 2.0 and hopefully in the future we'll see some more thank you for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace